Hold up. Yo, what's going on guys? It is Foxy98 here and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today on my channel. Today we are back with another round of F1 2017 car reveals and today Renault have launched their brand new F1 car. It was released at 3pm UK time. Uh, the live stream that they did started at 2pm UK time, two, uh, uh, half 2 uh, in the afternoon UK time uh, and eventually after some talking, after an announcing that Alain Prost has joined the team for Renault, uh, they went ahead and they released their car at 3 o'clock. And uh, my first opinion honestly was I didn't like the look of the car um but after seeing lots of images which you're seeing right now i'm going to go through all the images first quite quickly uh in terms of just seeing all the different angles and then i'm going to let the images stay on the screen for a long longer so you guys can take a good look at them and to have a look at it for yourselves um, if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to click the like button subscribe from the around here as well and uh, before any of you guys start like going crazy on me uh, these videos are literally just to show you what the car looks like what's different about it this is not a full in-depth analysis i had sent a comment on my williams reveal basically saying that i know that you're showing these and i appreciate that um but you don't know anything about f1 and i've been watching it for three months so i'm not going to rant on about that but anyway so as you can see then the first thing that we can tell that's different about this car compared to last year's car is going to be the livery now the livery last year as we know is basically the same so you're probably thinking to yourselves what the hell are you on about it's still yellow and black but as you remember from testing last season Renta went with this sort of style of a black and white livery and they brought that back but this time they've sort of chopped the car into a bit of a, into a two-way split the black and white livery is now shown at the back of the car more importantly on the side pods and then the front of the car the front nose has got the black and yellow uh, theme and then on the rear wing they've also got the black and yellow theme so you can see it a lot more in this image here you can see the front of the car is yellow but then the back of the car the side pods also where the shine Fin is, which I'll talk about that in a second, is uh, black and white. So they've gone with a mixture of last year's testing car and to last year's actual car uh, all into one. But first of all, then the notable change, obviously, that you can tell is the shark fin. Now, the Williams is the only car so far not to show the shark fin. However, Sauber and now Renault have introduced the shark fin. And when Renault, uh, they released a picture, um, they said, this is our car. It's ready to be unveiled in very, very soon. I could already see the shark fin there. Uh, so that was obvious that they were going to have that uh, because the shark fin is actually the tallest point on the car, apart from the, uh, the camera pod, obviously. Um, so it was obvious that was going to be there. Again, if you guys are not un unaware uh, of the uh, rules track from 2017, uh, we have got a lot wider tyres uh, and the rear wing is definitely a lot lower and uh, it's all about aerodynamics. The whole car is all about aerodynamics. But this is the very first image here that I actually saw and I was uh, I was initially like, what is this image? Um, but again, after I said seeing the light, uh, it definitely looks a lot better. But what we can see from this is, first of all, at the front of the car, they've gone with the stumpy nose. Now, Williams has gone with this, uh, Sauber have gone with this, and now Renault have gone with this, which I honestly don't like the little stump plonk thing at the end of the nose. It's just a little bit pointless and tacky, for my opinion. The only team that I remember from last season, off the top of my head, that never went with this sort of plunk, stumpy-style nose uh, was Mercedes-Benz. They never went with that style of nose. They sort of went with a simple, round-shaped nose, then it sort of spiked in at the end and had, again, that little bit of a bow effect of the aerodynamics and the front wing definitely uh, shows that when I show the panning over the top thing uh, it's definitely got that sort of boat shape to it so it's uh, basically um, it's giving the air it, it allows for better airflow through the car because of course um, it, it's simple it's aerodynamics it's it's just how it works so the, the because the main purpose really for all these f1 cars and for all the f1 teams is to get the aerodynamic throw flow not throw flow through these massive tires and that's the biggest ask that people have gone with so of course with these a lot wider uh, front wings um, and uh, it's that that's definitely gonna help but basically all the front wings they 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 sort of curve a little bit it's that's the easiest way to ex explain it they curve outwards um, and what that does it allows for the uh, it, it basically provides that sort of boat effect if you look at the front front of a boat of course it's a lot more steeper in terms of its uh, its uh, spike point um, but it's definitely the same here in the Renault um, and that's with all the cars really and it helps uh, with the aero uh, dynamic flow but again this is the side shot here um, this is the Renault in the light looking a lot better actually um, and to be honest what, I, what I've noticed about these cars this year is they're a lot better looking they look like race cars you know like these previous few years that we've had of cars they just haven't looked like race cars but for me this just it just looks like a racing car and that's the thing like I've seen the reactions on Twitter uh, for this and it just looks like a race car as you can see again this is what I'm talking about in terms of the front wing you can see how it's sort of curved 
uh, a little bit. And you can see how the aerodynamic flow works, uh, where it's going to flow through and then it can get into the uh, the side pods there. And then they can work their way through to the back of the car using the shark fin, which is, again, a very good aerodynamic piece that was introduced in 2008. And you can also see the front of the nose, uh, stumpy little front end of the, uh, of the nose there uh, to, to really help it out. Um, but uh, yeah, there's not really much I want to talk about in terms of the Renault car because I don't want to go into detail about it because uh, if I do go into detail and make a mistake, I get attacked that. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Just wanted to show you the Renault car. And again, like I said, point out the obvious changes for you guys so you can see what's different and what's new uh, for this season. But yeah, I'll tell you what, these cars are not looking too bad. And again, this is the final image I'm going to show. They've also gone with the same rear wing style as, um, as Sauber. Uh, Williams have gone with a, mo a lot more straight upward style rear wing, uh, where where it curves up to make the rear wing size this uh, normal um, but whereas Renault have gone with a much more attacking style looking rear wing from my opinion um, but uh, yeah that's it guys for this video if you did enjoy it don't forget to click the like subscribe me around here as well and tomorrow I'll be bringing you the Force India uh, which I believe is the VM10 uh, so that'd be interesting to see what that looks like but there you go guys that's the Renault let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to reply to all the comments and see what you guys think until then guys take care all peace